Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about a JQ construct called select. So this time we are going to work on a JSON file from a Kubernetes uh, objects, right? So let me just check here. For example, if I want to get the nodes, okay, this is a GKE cluster. So this video is not about setting up of Kubernetes. I'm just going to show here that, you know, I have a three node cluster Kubernetes in GKE right so if i am going to get the uh, namespaces i can see that there are uh, you know few namespaces here right which status is active and it is of 81 minutes right great now our goal here is a live example of say namespace okay we're going to see here the json output of this namespace now you can see here that this is of uh, api version v1 and it has a list of items in in json terms this is an array where it has elements in it these are elements in that array right this is the first element this is the second element and so on and so forth right it's a kind of list with the metadata and the resource versions being mentioned there so our goal here is to first understand what is inside this items array so i will use the filters here so items now if i say items here what is coming here it is coming the entire array right but i was more of looking removing this square braces right so we will using the array filter here that will remove this great now my goal here is i want to print uh, say this name or the timestamp or anything you know for example the name is default here this name is namespace name is cube node lease right so i want to print the name and the timestamp okay so what i will be doing here is let me just put it in another line where i will just help to see that json right Great. and if on top of it I want to use the items right great I will see that right hand side and match here on the items right if I want the metadata name this is an element of that array right so what I will use that pipe filter and use dot metadata dot say name okay is it coming and how is it coming yep i can see the name here great so i want on top of this i want to use a comma operator here so i will be using uh, i will be getting more values from here right so let me grab some more values so metadata dot so i want to grab this creation timestamp okay i can see some values awesome i want to get say metadata dot this resource version number which is here in the scenario 18 right 18 and i want to also use the status you know so the status is in the last so it will be status dot phase great so i have all the data which i was looking for here right now what i was looking another thing is using of select statement so why do we use select statement the first thing is select statement is always looking for a test condition right so if the value is true or if the value is false then apply select on top of it it's a kind of a test condition right so what i will be using here the test condition is active okay so for example you see here kubectl get ns right sorry kubectl get ns we see there is a status called active right so i want to use on this filter actually select statement on base of active 
So what I will be doing here is kubectl get ns hyphen over json and I will be using first the select. So I will be using okay first I will be using jq then dot items right. So items is where I can get this iterator and then I will be using select statement on top of it and then I will be using this status dot face. Okay, now goal here is status dot face if it's equals to active because active is a string. So I will be using within double quotes, right? And I will be using this braces complete. So let me see what it prints. Yes, so it selects my condition. So example, if I say active as a wrong spelling, right? It will not give the output. Okay, because the condition is false. See, it's not coming. So so the condition is true that is why it is coming now what i need here on top of it is i will be using on top of it right this values which i have passed last time okay this entire string now you can see yes the status is active and everything is happy okay let me move this side now what i will be looking here is let me uh, redecorate the values as what i need for so for example if i want to say the if the status is active right then just change the name here so i would be giving a name and on top of that i will be giving some values here so i will say name okay and here I will be saying say created at okay and here I will be using another called resource version so resource version okay so resource version is completed and then I will be using a thing called status okay so with this thing done let me see if there is no errors yes there is no errors we can see that the value was coming in a different way now i have changed on top of it here what i given the name the resource versions and everything so now i want to test one more thing say example on top of it if i say if the resource version number is 43 or if the resource version number is 38 then print everything okay that's a condition here let me come here and i will be using a or operator here okay so i will be using this metadata dot resource is that Metadata resource version, and I will be saying if this value, okay, as we said, I have made one more dot, so I will remove that. If this value is equals to equals to, okay, uh, say 38, okay, then print that. So it will print only one entry, okay. Let us see. Yes, it is now on top of it if i want to say like you know just add one more thing if the value is 38 resource version or right i want to add say 43 right so i'll copy this and paste it here and i will say 43 so it should be printing me two values right right so this is an example where if there is any conditions you can apply some conditions like if this value exists then print that if it does not exist then don't print that so we can filter out a lot of things from the json file this is a very small example of kubernetes namespace with the help of jq and select on top of it i hope this video is informative thank you for watching